Try Arcade Club. Uh, my name is Logan. I'm joined by my player two, Mount Pound. Hi. And uh, thanks you guys for sticking with us. You guys just watched um, <clears throat> Greg put the Spurs to Undertale, uh, beat it, and then beat it again to get the good ending. Um, that's why we're starting a bit late. There we go. Um, if this looks familiar, this game, uh, it's called Splatterhouse Wampaku Graffiti, and we played it one year ago on the first episode of Famicom Zone, which was basically, which I think was the first regular Twitch show. Um, so it's been a year, we're going to do it again. Uh, for those that don't know, this is uh, there's a more serious Splatterhouse game. This is the uh, weird, chibi, uh, goofy Splatterhouse that was exclusive to Famicom. Didn't come out in the U.S. It's very spooky, or spooky rather. <laughs> the um. I don't know what's supposed to be funny about that. This would be your grave, ha ha ha. Yeah, it's a good joke. It's a classic goof. Uh, the archive of this show, which is on youtube.com slash Detroit Arcade Club, um, because it was the first time I had done it, really, um, I kind of messed up the recording, and it starts three chapters in. So this would be the first time I've archived this part of the game. Whoops. Don't go in there. Monkey WB is asking why. Why? Well, why? I mean, right. Why anything? I don't know. Maybe he can't see the, um, the game. Why would you think that? He needed to refresh. <clears throat> oh. Oh, he's asking Chris why. Yeah, okay, cool. Um, I'm glad that you refreshed and are back in time to see this because it's the best part of the game. So a lot of this game is like jokes about um, sort of horror movies and tropes and really specific parodies and this is Thriller and it's just the best. Can they hear the music? Should we turn it off? They can hear the music just fine. If we turn it up too much they'll hear it on the mic and it's echoey and weird. Ah, bitch. This is the worst. Oh, beans. Beans is right. Ah. Okay, I can't stay up any longer. That's fine. <laughs> you going to bed? Yeah. Okay. It's too late. When yeah. you do your show at nine, I can be on it. Well, that doesn't happen anymore. All right. <clears throat> it's too late for wives. Do you want to drink the rest of my cider? Sure. Bye. Happy anniversary. <laughs> Oof. All right. Let's try to do a little better. A little better on that bot, huh? Oop. So you don't want to go in spikes. Damn it. Could use another candy before the, there we go. Yeah, your health bar um, gradually um, gets bigger as you get one of the items. I don't remember which one. Uh, so this part's actually kind of challenging because you have a very tiny health bar. I mean, even then, it's 
it's not that that challenging. I, I probably shouldn't have died. <laughs> uh, but I got kind of bounced around at the beginning. He, the player can, the character controls really weird. He's got some weird momentum. Or he just kind of moves suddenly, and yeah, things come out of the ground. God. Ooh, it was close. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Need that help. All right. Oh yeah, so that 2 out of 20 that's up there, that's a count of the number of enemies you've killed and Every time you get, every time you reset that, basically, I think your uh, health bar gets bigger. That's how that works. And we're back at a boss again. You can believe it, the boss fights do come pretty fast and furious in this game. I guess the last one's not even a boss, right? Because you're still in level one. Here's another one. Yeah, you can kind of spam that one. <clears throat> yes, destroying books. There we go, stage two. The garbage of cesspool. 1055, alright. <clears throat> I really, I, I'd be hard pressed to think of something more jarring to play after that good ending of Undertale <clears throat> than this. Maybe Dark Souls. <laughs> oh, now this part, I remember this, this part is annoying. Okay. Well, I don't remember what was annoying about that room, but there was something. Got some good momentum. Look up on YouTube. Oh, the neutral and genocide ending. <coughs> ah. Whoops. All right. Yeah, I can like, consider. So I have um, Undertale too, and haven't um, uh, played it because it's base. It's only on computers, and I don't really play games on my computer. Um, I have a few like kind of that I've gotten on cheap Steam sales, and it's nice to have a few in a pinch. Uh, but yeah, I've never really played that one, and I considered after watching Greg's um, going for the genocide one, <laughs> just killing everything. I've already seen the good ending. Uh, a 
thought that might be fun. Fuck. Now this is my least favorite fight in the whole game, right here. <clears throat> Basically, if you get hit, you fly all the way back. It's terrible. Shit. I hate that fight so much. Yeah, wind, man. It's my arch nemesis in these games. Hate to burn it continue there. And as far as I can tell, there's like there's no shortcut. There's no trick to that fight. You just have to get the timing right eight times in a row or whatever. I'm pretty sure jumping pushes you all the way back too. So close. Got him. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> That's so rude. It hits you at the end. All right. Devil Town, stage three. This is where my stream a year ago picks up, I think. 37, 39. Oh, you know what? I, uh, I carved a pumpkin today, right before this stream. I guess it would make sense that they're kind of pissed at me. Mm. I think this is the part I was thinking of earlier. The confusing part. Oh boy. very hard. I made that look kind of hard in the beginning, but there's not, there wasn't much to that. Oh yeah, this one. Oh, this is so fucked.
Wow, beans. Now this is a game that uh, I have beaten, not no continues, but within the continues they give you, and that doesn't look like it's going to happen right now. I've already burned two on the first two and a half stages. She's fine. No problem. Church. Oh man, this is spooky as shit. I love these sprites. Um, I don't know who's in here. Uh, still watch. Oh yeah, this fucking fight. I remember this. This is a real questionable looking. <laughs> Boss, in my mind. There we go, I was waiting for him. Yes, cheese the bull. Cheese the bull. <clears throat> Whew, this level's still going now, huh? Fuck, fuck. That's a little too much damage to take right there. This is not going to be nearly enough health for a proper boss fight. <clears throat> now next week, oh god, on Sunday it will be Devil's Night, so I got to figure out a real spoopy one. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, that was doomed. <clears throat> Whew, man, this is going. Uh, this is pretty tricky. I I should have watched the uh, video from a year ago to 
kind of set expectations with myself. I don't remember how well that went. Or at least I get to start at the boss. I'm pretty sure we saw the whole game, but I might have cheesed the password system or something. Which seems like how this is going to go as well. Fuck. I mean, I gotta hit the guy though. Jesus, fly. Jesus. Stage four. Oh yeah. The lake. 82-45. Classic uh, horror movie trope setting. Oh yeah. Yeah, and you get a shotgun for some reason. Shotgun's cool. I love those legs. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. Rough stuff. if I can do any damage to the shark. I don't think I can. I should just be dodging it, huh? Shit. Ah, me. <laughs> well, you couldn't really do that part any worse. Who? Who it is? What villain is that even supposed to be? Uh, my horror movie knowledge is not very deep. So forgive me if that's an easy one, but I don't even know what that's supposed to be. Alright, I think this is our last continue, so... Great. I think all that happens... I'll have to use the password. Um... God bless it. Um... But what will happen is my health bar will reset. So that's... That's not gonna be good. Shit. Shit. I got the timing a little better there.
time. Ghost Town. Now this is one we'll actually have to remember. 4722. Uh, there's a good chance we'll be putting that in in a few minutes. <laughs> so let's remember that one. 4722. Oh god. It's weird. Why would they have you even do that? It's very spoopy in here. Oh, are you kidding me? Jesus. Well, at least we're at the camp. We should be safe here. Oh, jeez. <laughs> what was it? <laughs> what was the number? Forty five twenty two? You know what, I should have uh, done this beforehand. <clears throat> Forty-seven twenty-two. Thank you, sir. Difficulty of this game is weird because, like, on the one hand, it's kind of an easy game. It's kind of short. Um, if you have your wits about you, it's generally not hard to not take damage. Uh, but on the other hand, like, your attack is so weird and has such limited range. And then you get sequences like this, which are just kind of bullshit. Like, I think that was about the best I could- whoops, I forgot about- I mean, Are you guys bosses or what? What's your dick? Yikes, get me out of there. Brutal. What are you, uh, packing for there, Chris? If you don't mind me asking. Shit. 
going on a business trip. Oh no, wait, you're going on uh, vacation. Because you're going to miss the uh, first bit of. Oh boy. The new uh, Dark Souls DLC. Ah, oh, jeez, I didn't want this damn box in my head. Yeah. Oh, dick. You are, you're the, the, the worst. Shit. <clears throat> Chicago, nice. Chicago's fun. I really shouldn't get hit every time he parades across the screen. That's not gonna do, that's not gonna bode well. That math don't add up. <clears throat> Dude, that's um, <laughs> yeah. Don't we all wish we had a Nintendo Switch? Um, Travis used to live in Ukrainian Village. He lived there for like a year. Um, we went out and visited them one time, hung out for like a week. Ukrainian Village is super cool. It's really nice. Um, usually, like before they moved there, when Stacy and I would go out there, we went out for like a couple like pitchfork fasts and stuff. Um, we'd always stay in Chinatown because it was dirt cheap and close to the uh, public transportation, but Ukrainian village is much nicer. Fucker. Oh my god, it's that second hit. He's getting that follow-up. I went up to Chicago for uh, Travis's birthday. He convinced me... I don't know if I should put him on blast like this. Finally. Oh no. Okay, good. Thank God. Uh, <laughs> um, the Hell House on the Hill, seventy-three ninety-seven. <clears throat> um, yeah, we went up there for Travis's birthday, and he was like, "Yeah, like in Chicago, you can just drink in public. It's, it's fine." And, um, that didn't seem unreasonable to me, like, um, I spent a little time in London for school, and you could drink in public there, we drank on the bus and walked into the park and stuff, so I was like, oh cool, Chicago's got some really cool progressive public, uh, you know, fuck you guys, uh, you know, not intoxication, but like, that seems chill. Uh, a couple big hurt brews later, I knew that was gonna happen. I, God, of course that was what was gonna happen. Uh, a couple, a couple big hurt brews later, we were in um, some famous park in Chicago. Cops came. We're just walking around with fucking. Hold on. Big beers and. Oops. Paper bags. Looking like fucking bums. And uh, yeah, I got a, Long story short, I got a ticket. <laughs> For Travis's birthday.
I've been told that I should have known better, but it seemed reasonable to me. Oh boy. Hell House. Oh, shit. That was really- what? What? God, that's so weird. No boss, no- No nothing, huh? The story will be completed soon. 8671. <clears throat> I'm gonna write them down for... I appreciate it that you did the last one, Chris. I'm just gonna do that. Uh, I'm gonna take the initiative and do that myself. Uh, Hell House, a crowd of monsters. I don't remember the total stage count, but I, yeah, we must be getting close. Yeah, this stage is cool. This is the stage that always comes comes to mind when I think about late game Splatter House. Oh man, ah, oh. don't. Dude, don't put me in. Oh, no. No, just kidding. I'm pretty sure that's unavoidable. Oh, chainsaws again. Cool. Ran out of assets or what? If Tra Travis told me something was a thing and I wasn't 100% aware. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, I think I wanted to believe it. Oh god, the f it's fire. I mean, here's the thing, though. Like, we started... We cracked the cans... on the, uh, bus... to start out the evening. We rode the bus down to, like, one of the Chicago, like, barcades. And, like, the bus driver gave, looked at us in, like, the rear view mirror and, like, gave me the eye, but, like, didn't do anything. So I was like, oh. Well, confirmed. Like, Chicago's is cool about that. <clears throat> oh, candy was so close. Ooh, no continues. Well, I'm glad we uh, did the thing. 86 71. Yeah, I guess you don't have to be caught by him. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, well. Chicago buses are kind of the wild west. Yeah, I see you're revoking that now. The, uh, yeah. Oh shit. Okay, that's just terrible. Really, every floor you're gonna put me back out here? Alright, 
stay on the platform. That candy is a trap. I can't move right now, by the way. Egypt, I will give you the crystal ball. Good luck to you. Oh, yeah. So I think. I can't remember if we went over this when we played this a year ago or what, but I think getting that item just got us like a better ending, maybe? Or maybe there's two items you have to get to get the ending. I forgot all about this thing. Um, I'm I'm not gonna look it up. Let's just kind of keep playing natu naturally and fuck, 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 seeing what we get. Um, Everything about this game is rude. I still get to keep the uh, Egyptian sexy egg. I mean, I guess I would think so. I wonder, if, really, the question is if I burn through these continues and have to put in the level password again, will I get to keep it? They have a vending machine outside the boss. Jumping over him doesn't really work. Ah, 
Ah! I believe. I gotta believe. It's really that, like when he first appears, that spread. I just gotta be wide of it. There's no other way. I'm trying to go in between it like it's a damn schmuck. Well, it worked that time, but it normally won't. <laughs> Shit. Oh, fuck. Well, this is very bad. kind of on your game for this one. Especially with this kind of low amount of help. right under him. That's an interesting little wrinkle. I like that a lot actually. Because even if you do get hit it's only going to be once then. I like this strategy quite a bit. Day, pumpkin man. I'll carve you up like that pumpkin in my living room. Oops. He's going faster now, which yes, that does make it harder. if I can do better than that. Fuck. Ah, oh, it's my last continue. Oh. How many times do I have to hit this guy? Come on now. Oh, 
bullshit. Every hit is so important. Extremely bad. Jack, hold on, hold on. Now's not the time, buddy. Shit. No! This is gonna put me yep, right at the beginning. I feel like I was so close. Let's do this again. Egyptian sex sexy time. Ah, oh, what a bummer. Oops, damn it. <laughs> I can't wait. I'm I'm really curious to see what I did a year ago. Whether I beat it, whether I got this uh bonus thing in Egypt. I'm definitely going to check that tape tomorrow. Alright, now we get the uh Egyptian sexy time, as uh, as Rick put it. I mean, I wonder if uh, Namco just kind of had a look at this and was like, this isn't going to fly in the U.S. Uh,
Oh, don't do that. Oh, I had a bad feeling about where that guy was taking me. <clears throat> Get in the door. Fill it all the way. Oh, you dirty Dr. Pepper. <sighs> all right, here we go. Jeez. Normally that corner's pretty good. Whew. I gotta stop even trying to jump over him though, it's stupid. I mean, I know it worked there, but... Last year. Check. Oh, God. oh yeah, dude. Uh, yeah, let's talk about Yumika. <clears throat> Super fun. Um, I missed last year. I did, something was going on. Uh, <clears throat> I had something come up at the last second, or I don't remember what the deal was. But like, I was, I want to say I was intending on going, and something came up. When I went a couple years ago, uh, I had a real good time because like I got a ride there and back. Um, and uh, I was a little apprehensive about an anime what is essentially a I mean it's just a it's just a nerd pit right but Thursday night is sort of the night before it opens and I was getting a ride there and back so I was like drunk before I even got in the car, and uh, it was at the it's at the Rensen, which is like where I go um, for work for like client pitches and stuff. And so I was walking around the Rensen like half in the bag, uh, just walking by all these uh, Pikachu's shit. Where I'm normally there for like the most straight laced, like the most business of business things. 
Uh, it was it was weird, and the juxtaposition of that was really fun. Whoops. And I want to do it again for sure. I played some Third Strike. Uh, I, I think I did okay. I want to say that I won a, just slightly less times than I lost. I, I was nearly a 500 on the night, if I remember correctly. <clears throat> So yeah, I would. I am definitely down to do that when it comes up again. Oh, you know what? It was. Well, I remember what happened last year, and uh, part of it is not fit to be streamed. So I'm just gonna let it go. But yeah, the year I went, it was like right after RetroTaku opened, and it was one of the first times I had hung out with Dan, and uh, you know how that boy can get. Uh, he was just going up to random people, asking them which Pikachu they were. Uh, it was extremely good. Or no, which Goku. I think he was, he was asking them which Goku they were. <laughs> Wait, what? That felt like I didn't even hit him as many times. <laughs> I'm just catching up on the comments. Nice, dude. You have to, man. Like... I was in a completely weird zone when I went and it was the best. Alright, here's the big reveal. I love this director character. Hey buddy. Nice acting. You did a great day today. Yeah, man, when I went with Dan, he was, we went to the bar, and like I said, it was like, Retro Taku had just opened and he was just hanging out with us, and he was like buying drinks for everybody. Uh, I had a bunch of drinks there. Oh, that mask. Okay, yeah, so there's the item I got. So I think that did trigger a different ending. I gotta look into this. The Terror Mask lives, but I think because I got that item from the pyramid, I'm like still... Oh yeah, okay, here we go. You are great. We just don't use drugs. <laughs> Alright, so here's a bunch of fake cast members. Here's a bunch of bullshit credits for you since they weren't allowed to use the real names. <clears throat> Hi, Daboo. Alternate endings for Splatterhouse now. Yeah, I beat it. I mean, it's not, it's not a hard game. Honestly, I made it look harder than it is. Uh, I've beaten this game without having, like I said, I haven't beaten it like no deaths, um, but I've beaten it without having to put in a password, like using the four continues that you get stock. I've beaten it dying less than four times, basically. Uh, 
It's actually easier because you keep the um, the HP that you've built up on all the early levels. So if things break right, um, the latter stages are actually easier. That boss fight's easier when you can get hit twice as many times, for example. Um, I think that's it. So we're, we started late, uh, yeah, it's almost midnight, um, alright, this will be, sh I guess this will be a short episode tonight, we started late, we gave Greg the room to, uh, get that Undertale good ending, which he did, congratulations Greg, that was a four part, he's been at that for four weeks, um, got the very, very good ending tonight, which was cool. Um, that gave us just enough time to play through Splatterhouse Wampaku Graffiti uh, on the one year anniversary of this channel. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, especially um, Rick and Chris for commenting and keeping me company while I was doing it. I really appreciate it. Thanks to Mom Pom. She had to pee out real <laughs> early because she has an early bedtime. Uh, but she's been doing these shows with me for on and off for the first year. It's been cool. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, next week is like I said, it's Devil's Night. I gotta pull out one more spoopy game. I have some ideas of what that could be. Um, yeah, thank you. This has been Famicom Zone on Detroit Arcade Club on Twitch. Check us out at DetroitArcadeClub.com. We do shows all week. Give us a follow if you're new. Thank you. This has been Splatterhouse, Juan Paco Graffiti. Have a good week, you guys. Later.